And I want to start out with something I talked about before the break here, the plan for Money in the Bank. And it was announced on The Bump, still not sure what that is, it may be on Twitch for all I know, that a last chance gauntlet match will air on Monday's Raw. The winner will become the final wrestler to qualify for the men's Money in the Bank ladder match. However, we don't have any participants because this is really hard, everybody. So, Alistair Black, Rey Mysterio, Daniel Bryan, Baron Corbin have all qualified. SmackDown's final participant will be determined by a qualifying match between Otis and Dolph Ziggler this Friday. I have no idea who's going to win that match. Because you need a big, fat, strong guy to catch people who fall off ladders. But you also need guys like Dolph Ziggler who can climb up high and fall off ladders. So I don't know which of those guys is going in there. They should just put them both in, now that Apollo's gone. So that is the plan for Monday. Monday is the go-home show for Money in the Bank, which means that the the go-home, go-home show, this past Monday's Raw, a wretched number, although it's only a little bit below last week, Raw once again said it's all-time non-holiday low, 1.82 million viewers, down from the 1.84 million last week. So yes, if you want to hand Mike the win that it could go lower, you could. But we're talking 1.86 to 1.84 to 1.82. We're like, we're there. All-time record low, 1.78 million, which was Christmas Eve of 2018. I, I don't know how they haven't fallen below that, but they haven't. The bad news is the big third-hour drop returned. Uh, the Seth Rollins... Uh, Drew McIntyre contract signing, and Andrade Apollo Crews, 1.62 million viewers. That is the lowest number for an hour of Monday Night Raw in 25 years. We have listeners right now who were not alive the last time that Raw did 1.62 million viewers. 18 to 49 also dropped from 0.56 to 0.51. Raw down 16% from the show last year, although that did that show did go up against the NBA playoffs. And the 18 to 49 it dropped last year uh, from the, last year to this year, 29%. They were second to love in hip hop Atlanta in 18 to 49, 30th in overall viewers. 27 of them were news shows. Can I fairly say that they were slaughtered by the news shows? Or will that make people mad? And that's the numbers. 1.95 million first hour, 1.89 million second hour, and that appalling 1.62 million in the third hour. Those are your raw ratings. Any thoughts, Mike? Well, if they get upset with you over the uh, the raw rating getting slaughtered by news shows, then... Really, I think it's just a bias against either you or your Hawaiian shirts or something like that. They get slaughtered every week by those news shows, so nobody can really complain about that too much. And I don't think it's fair to say that we have reached the bottom quite yet. I'm not sure what that lowest network number was, but I consider that the lowest point that we can have as far as WWE viewership goes. And we still may fall to that at some point. And once again, it doesn't happen to be all WWE's fault, time and place and Space is an issue certainly right now. So again, you get an, a, an incident that happens on Monday, you get a news break that happens on Monday, uh, and it could absolutely go lower than this. It could be a lower number, either overall or having the first number be, you know, the first hour be dragged down for some reason, and the show ends up getting sandwiched or something like that. It could be, it could actually be worse than this. Although this is as we keep seeing, is a, a non-holiday issue week after week after week. So hard times. It's just what it is right now.